Hey y'all, this is Cat. I'm back. Hope you had a wonderful day. I was scrounging through my stuff and I come across the half. There's supposed to be a top and a bottom. All I got is the bottom. But this thing has got to be as old as I am. Because I've had it that long. I'm going to do. And this is not a bottle bottom. But this is a box bottom. And. That's what I'm going to be pouring on. Okay. This baby was open. Got some gray. They all have coconut milk serum. Let me see, where's the silver? And then a little bit of black. Give it some definition. My negative space is going to be my house paint. I know you can't see this. I can barely see it, and I'm sitting down. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas, and I need five ounces of paint. When you pre-mix colors, and you put silicone in, usually the first pour, all the silicone's gone, but I can see it as I'm pouring it into this cup. So we're all good. There's a booger there. It's rough co covering over a canvas that you used silver or gold. The only thing I found that works for a cover up of silver and gold on a bad pour is kills. Uh, I have the ceiling uh, primer. And I've added Floetrol to it, and it works just fine. I needed water, too, because it's pretty thick, and you want it 
runny. Well, I think that's enough paint. There's my boy. I'm not going to give it a stir. A little something speckled on there. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm trying to concentrate on this. I'm going to need a palette knife to uh, lift that heart pl plastic heart up off. I lost one of the uh, legs. any paint. Okay, there we go. I have a very limited space with everything piled here. I've got to get some kind of organization going.
Like I said, I used these colors earlier, and they looked really nice together. So, I had to use them again. Well, I've lost anything that looked like a heart. And it wants to stay right where it's at. It, I definitely got enough paint. Mixing up these paints, I've got some kind of a purple red deal going. I guess it's time to pull the heart off because I definitely don't have a heart situation going and I didn't need my house paint I had plenty to tilt it this way.
definitely something different. Paint running off my arms. I got enough that I can get rid of this purple, whatever it is. Let's try this side. I'm sorry I keep getting it out of focus. Paint slowing down. That means it's about done doing whatever it was going to do. My little dog is right under my feet. I like it. I'm wondering what the porch will do. The, the best thing to take paint off with it, I found, are Huggies Baby Wipes. They work perfectly. And you don't have to scrub like the, whole, the Dickens to get it out. Okay. Lately, and I think it's the weather, cells don't pop up like uh, they did in the winter time. And I really do think it's the weather. I think I'll stand up. This thing does not like to be tilted down. I'm getting some cells. 
not a whole lot though. Sales basically was in the poor. But I got plenty, I guess. Too many can be a pain in the rear. There's no cell development there. I see something that I don't particularly care for. It was like a drip of paint. A drip that went crazy. With my little pitchfork. Let me see that straw. Well, the blowing is bringing up some of the gray.
Okay. Well, I'm liking it. But I wouldn't. I did put some extra action in there. Filling in some loose areas. It just kind of sunk in a little bit. Okay, well you all have a nice evening. And like, if you will, and cheer me, and subscribe, and hit that little bell and see what I come up with next. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.